how to fix problem with your iPhone charging slowly or not not charging at all after new, the new iOS 11 update so after updating your phone you may find that the phone is not uh, charging properly or takes longer than it normally would to uh, charge up your phone here is a uh, few things that you can uh, try now the first I will try to go through the steps from the easiest to the hardest things that you can do so we start your phone so press and hold to your power button at the top and turn off the phone and then turn it back on so give that a go what you want to do is we start the phone sometimes uh, restarting the phone can clear out some memory bug uh, the memory bugs can cause the phone not to uh, work as expected so try to restart the phone first after that if uh, restarting the phone still uh, does not fix the issue you can try to do a soft reboot or do a reboot with your phone or doing restart uh, on the phone so you can see there the phone just uh, flashes once not sure if that is a glitch or is that just a new way it's booting up with the new iOS 11 so to do a, uh, a reboot or a restart you can press on the power button and the home button both at the same time like this so press and hold both button uh, press and hold until you see the phone restart so press and hold with two buttons the home button and the power button at the top press and hold continue to hold until you see the Apple logo appear once this logo appears you can let go of both buttons so this is uh, simply rebooting the phone now how this one is different to the other one is that when you're doing uh, pressing the power button and the home button it is similar to uh, taking out the battery and putting the battery back in so it clears out all the uh, cache memory uh, on your phone and it closes all the apps, all the running apps and when the phone boot up again it will start the fresh uh, we will open up the app uh, fresh again so give that a go now after rebooting uh, the phone uh, try to see if, if that fixed the problem if not also check the cables and the charger uh, make sure the, the charge cable is the original Apple uh, cables uh, using a third party cables sometimes can cause an issues or if the cable is damaged so inspect the cables to make sure it is not damaged for example, if you're using a chunky uh, cable like this, uh, sometimes the charging will not work here correctly, or if we we'll, uh, charge slowly because of a damaged cables or a third-party cables where the quality is not so great. So use the original uh, Apple charger cables. Also, if you can, try to use the original charger as well. So using a third-party charger. So here is a third-party charger. So sometimes using a third-party charger like this can uh, cause the phone not to charge properly because the output is small. So if this one here give out one amp, which is the correct amount for your iPhone, but sometimes uh, the charger is not working correctly, and that can also cause a slow charging. So that could inside, coincide with your, your upgrade. So when you upgrade the iOS 11, then uh, you know that thing could also at the same time uh, not working correctly. So always try a different charger or using the original Apple charger. So with a newer update, it can be a little bit fuzzy. So use the original Apple charger and the original uh, Apple charger cables. See if that helps, give that a try. The next uh, thing you can do is make sure all the uh, high running, all the apps that are running using a high uh, battery usage, make sure you remove them or close them. So you can go into settings and look at the battery app. So go down and tap on battery. And down here there has a uh, battery uh, usage. So go down here, battery usage, and we can. Uh, take a look you can also always try to turn on low power mode uh, to save battery as well so because we just restart the phone so the battery usage uh, information isn't available uh, at this time 
So we'll get back to that in a moment after I'll play over a few apps. See if we can uh, pick up some information. I'm just opening up a few app. Yeah. So in this uh, particular section here, in battery usage, it normally tells you what app is using the battery. And if a particular app is using too much battery, you can try to uninstall the app or alternatively, uh, after using it, uh, try to close it. You can uh, close an app by pressing on the power button twice and go through the apps here and see the apps is still running on the background and try to close it like this. So swipe them up like that and that will close uh, the app. So looking for signs of any app that using the battery uh, a lot, uh, close them. The next thing you can do is also to uh, uh, reset the device. So if you've done all the above, then you can try to uh, reset the device. Actually before even resetting the device, try to put the phone in airplane mode. So when you put the phone in airplane mode, it will turn off services like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or mobile data. So because when your phone is um, having all that uh, service turned on, such as location services, uh, Wi-Fi, it can use quite a lot of uh, battery power and that will cause the phone to charge slowly so if you want to charge your phone to charge up quickly um, put on airplane mode and see if that helps give that a go and if that's still not working when you are charging so plug your cables into your phone and have it charge then once it is in the charging mode then press on the power button and switch off the phone and have your phone screen turn off and hopefully that will help the phone charge even faster so definitely give that a try the next thing you want to do is um, try to reset your phone so you can go into uh, the settings screen go to general and go down and tap on reset and there's a new option called shutdown so you can tap on that to shut down okay so on, tap on reset and erase all content and settings so tap on that and if you tap on the erase iPhone it will erase the phone now before you do that absolutely you must back up all your data because if you don't back up your data you could uh, cause the phone to um, erase everything and that means you lose everything all your photos your contacts your music all your downloaded documents will be removed from the phone so it is absolutely vital that you back up your phone before you proceed to reset the phone. So you can plug the phone into the computer using iTunes and back them up. So back up all your necessary data and once you um, reset the phone you can always plug it in and restore it. So give that a go, give your phone a reset and after you've done all the things that I mentioned above and it's still charging slowly then maybe it's time going to Apple and have the expert at Apple check it out have the genius at Apple uh, inspect the batteries sometimes it could be a hardware problem such as a battery is is no longer in good working conditions the, the battery could be uh, you know it's old it's overused and it's time to uh, get it replaced uh, as just battery is pretty much similar to like a car tire if you use it over it, a period of time it get worn out and you need to replace a new car tire same as a battery after a while the battery get worn out and it does it no longer can hold a very good charge and the battery is damaged so uh, it takes forever to charge and it also doesn't hold charge that means the battery is is no good and you need to have it replaced at apple and that's it thanks for watching this video I hope uh, one of the options or one of the solutions helps. And if finally nothing helps, then please go to Apple and have a check out. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.